Good morning. Good morning. Certainly good to see each and every one out here at Crossroads, and welcome to those also on Facebook Live. Well, we certainly welcome each and every one. If you're visiting, we uh, certainly welcome you and pray a blessing over you while you're here at Crossroads today. Um, a few announcements. If you've noticed, today is youth service. Uh, it is the uh, fifth Sunday, so we any of the youth that wants to come join up front, you're welcome to uh, come up and, and join these two young men up here. and and uh, uh, join us for the youth service today. 
Um, also remember uh, the circle of prayer on Thursday night uh, uh, as well, uh, those that can join out for that. And uh, um, certainly I think there's some planning for next Sunday, I believe it is, for the youth. Uh, do we have an announcement on that? The Sunday after. Sunday after. The 12th okay. of September, um, we'll have choir practice, youth choir practice, we'll have lunch. And then we're going to Donnie Marla's house uh, for swimming. So uh, we encourage all of you to come out and be with us. Yeah, remember that and pass the word around. Any other announcements out there? Mike, um, the outreach would like to let the church know that um, we're going to be uh, making a donation to your family in California. So anybody that would like to contribute, um, you can make the check or anything out to Crossroads Outreach. Uh, the outreach just has felt, we felt led to um, help when Mike goes to California with all the devastation there. So if anybody wants to contribute, they can. If not, um, outreach will be sending to help your family. So if anybody would like it, you can send it to us, give it to Shay and I, but again, you can just make it to Crossroads or we'll just do one check to um, Mike just to help your family. Yeah, very much appreciated. Uh, thank you very much for the prayers for my brother and his family at the loss of their homes. And, and uh, fortunately, we got good news. Mom and Dad's place survived. Uh, it was threatened about three times, but they finally got the fires a little better under control in those areas. So uh, certainly... Uh, uh, continue to remember them in their prayers. And I know there's a lot of people that need our prayers uh, for so many things going on lately. Any other announcements? I'll be, the Bible study will be starting up two weeks from this week, or a week from this Wednesday, the on the 8th. So everybody can pray about that. Look at the email. Anybody can teach. Yeah. <laughs> we just have a good time to talk about Scripture and how it affects us. And, Oh, yeah, absolutely. Remember that. Any others? And on that note, um, I'm going to start having choir practice again for uh, Bible study. So we'll start that at 6.30 on the 8th. On the 8th, okay. So let's remember that for Wednesday, uh, getting things kicked off again in September. Anything else? If not, if you'll stand, we'll take up this morning's offering. Please turn to page 22. Page 22. <laughs>
page 292. As Brandon comes around with this next selection of song, we're so thankful that we're in the house of the Lord this morning, so thankful to see each and every one of you that has made the effort to be here this morning, your attendance, and being in the house of the Lord. We was reminded once again this morning just how precious that life is. We got a phone call coming to church this morning about a young man that had a heart attack, uh, Dustin Sweatman, and he passed away this morning. That's the son of Gerald Sweatman. Y'all remember uh, the family in your prayers, but how precious life is each and every day that we live. So we're gathered together just like we are on this Sunday morning. So let's just enjoy ourselves in the house of the Lord. This is a youth Sunday at Crossroads Baptist Church, and I hope these youth know that the church loves them so, so very much. We're so proud of them and for their lives and what they do. And for those that help with the youth around the church, we appreciate you so very much. And this morning, Brother Dawson Rickett is here with us this morning. Uh, we called him, and he said he'd be willing to come and preach for us this morning. We was talking just a while ago. Brother Dawson uh, told his call to preach when he was 16 years old. Now, I believe you're 23 now. Isn't that right, Dawson? So uh, we're just so proud of him, and we've known him for a while. I'm so glad he's here this morning. Y'all just pray for him as he comes around in just a little while. Also this morning, his fiance Rachel Estes, is here with us this morning. And uh, you can raise your hand back there, Rachel. We love Rachel so very much. Um, I could stand up here and tell you lots of, of history. Um, her dad, Tony, um, married Marla's first cousin, and Jessica's also here this morning. That's Marla's first cousin, and we go way back. I remember when she was born, and I uh, hadn't seen her in a while. We love her so very much, and uh, they're going to get married, I believe Dawson said, next April. So let's pray for them. But most of all this morning, if you're here this morning, you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ. We hope and pray this is the good day. You'll come and accept him before it's everlasting too late. Now, these young men, they're setting up here brave this morning. We appreciate them. Now, we're going to do this this morning. We're going to stand to our feet. If you just want to wave at your neighbor, if you want to shake hands with them, whatever you want to do. But we're going to stand at this time. If there's somebody back there that wants to come up here and, and sit with these young people, but you just don't want to get up while everybody's sitting down, just come on up here and sit with them uh, while we stand to our feet at this time. Let's all stand. of Crossroads Baptist Church on the three headings this morning. By experience of grace, the Lord has saved your son. You want to come this way as a candidate for baptism. You may uh, want to come this way under watch character. Your letter can be obtained from another sister church, same faith and order. Or you may have your letter with you. You want to come and deposit it with the clerk. So as we're standing, the doors of the church are open for reception of members as we sing this next verse of song.
you are me, and uh, I am so, so thankful for that, and I just want to thank the Lord for leading me to Taylor into this church, and I feel like it's been home for a while, and it's time to make it official, and I just want to thank this church for loving me, and loving us, and loving our family, and um, I have, as, as a preacher's kid, I've been in a lot of churches, and I I've been in a lot of churches that I love, but I've never moved my letter. Um, it's been at New Harmony since Daddy baptized me there. and um, But I feel like it's time. Um, this is home, and it's time for my membership to be here at Crossroads. And I just want to thank you all for loving me and praying for me, and please continue. Bless you, man. You've heard her harsh desire. I want to come over and watch if her letter can be obtained. Make motion this morning. Make motion. We got to second those. What second or letter can we obtain? Second. second move. Got a move in a second. All those in favor of this, let me know to say aye. Aye. Any opposed this morning? Certainly there would be none. Thank you. 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 And stand with Hannah also. And I don't know about some of you. All y'all, y'all know a lot more than I do. I know you know that. I just thought Hannah was a member up there. <laughs> so we're just thankful that God has led her to come this way this morning and join the church here at Crossroads Baptist Church. And what I said that she is. So let's all come around and give her the right hand of Christian fellowship. And certainly, if you're here this morning, never have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. What a good time it'd be just to bow. And ask him into your heart this morning as we sing.
Jesus, love of Jesus, down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus, down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. We counted another great honor and opportunity to be here with y'all this morning. I, I, I'll say this, I, I've enjoyed uh, listening to every song. I enjoyed listening to the youth get up and sing. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, I could go away right now and say, that it's been good to be in the house of the Lord, but the hour's come and it's fallen in our lot to try to stand. Uh, and I just ask that you all just pray for us for just a little while. Uh, we won't be reading much in your hearing this morning. Uh, we've got about four verses uh, in two different places that we feel like the Lord's laid on our heart. Uh, so if you've got your Bibles and you want to read along with us, we'll be starting uh, in the fifth chapter of the book of Matthew uh, and the 14th verse. And I'll give uh, those that want to read with us just a minute to flip with us. The fifth chapter of the book of Matthew, starting in the 14th verse. Ye are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine 
before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Uh, and now I'll go over to the book of John uh, and the 12th chapter and the 32nd verse. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. And that is what uh, all that I feel like the Lord would bid me to read in your hearing this morning. But uh, I thought on the way over here, Lord, is this the direction that you really want me to go. Uh, uh, the carnal man was getting involved in this thing, and uh, I'll be the first one to tell you this morning, if there'll be any preaching uh, done this morning, it'll be when Dawson Rickett is out of the way. So uh, y'all just pray for us for just a little while. But I thought about uh, as the little kids got up and they began to sing about how they were going to let uh, their little light shine. And I thought about uh, when I was a kid and I we, they'd get us up there and uh, they'd let us sing about our little light. And uh, this morning I just uh, want to get Jesus lifted up uh, uh, above this earth that he might just draw uh, all men unto him. Uh, uh, this morning that's our, uh, uh, that's our responsibility. That's our uh, duty, if you'll have it, is to just lift uh, uh, Jesus up as high uh, as we can lift lift him this morning and Jesus will do the drawing he's still got the drawing power this morning he's still able to save lost men women, boys and girls if they'd only believe but it's our job and I say our because I'm just as much included in this as the rest but it's our job to go out into the world and let our light shine that others that when they look on us they say there's something different and they've got something that I just don't have there's something different about them and I want it you never know what key you might hold and what door it might unlock you don't know who's looking on you watching you Observing how you go about your life. Uh, uh, listen, there's a little time uh, uh, when everybody uh, is going to come uh, uh, into some trials and some tribulations. Uh, uh, but in those times, uh, uh, just let your light shine. Uh, uh, let it shine. Uh, uh, listen, the Bible said, and I read it in your hearing this morning, uh, uh, that we uh, are the light of the world. Uh, uh, do you know uh, uh, why that is? Uh, uh, because us uh, that's been born again uh, have the light uh, on the inside. Uh, oh, listen, one of these days uh, uh, we're going to go to a place uh, in a city uh, uh, where the Bible says there'll be no need for a sun uh, uh, for nor a moon uh, uh, because the Son of God, uh, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, is the light thereof. Uh, I don't know about y'all, uh, but I've been blessed. Uh, uh, far more uh, uh, than what I deserve. Uh, uh, listen. Uh I'll be the first one to tell you before anyone else can get it out. Uh, there's nothing good about Dawson Rickett. Uh, there's not a thing good about Dawson Rickett except for the fact that as a seven-year-old little boy, I met Jesus and he placed the light on the inside of me that I just can't help but to let it shine. A preacher, you mean and you've never I tried to put a bushel over it. You've never tried to hide it. Satan's never tried to blow it out. I'll be the first one to tell you that Satan's tried. Oh, but listen, there's not a thing he can do to blow out that little light. Once Jesus lit that light, it's going to shine to the day of redemption, to the day that I get to look 
coat on my master's face and be able to personally look on him and tell him thank you for saving my soul. Now listen, as Donnie told you all this morning, I told my preacher calling at 16 years old. I started running from my preacher calling at 14 years old. Now listen, I was in that time, in those two years, I didn't know how in the world a teenager could get up behind the book board and begin to preach. I didn't think nobody would listen. I didn't think my light was big enough to shine. But I'll tell you what I came to realize real quick. There was one night I was in my closet. I've got a little place in my closet where I can get up underneath my clothes and I can read and I can pray. But there was one night I was in there and I began to talk to the Lord and I said, Lord, I can't do this. I don't know why you're calling me. There's a ton of other men that are better than I am. But the Lord let me know that it was my preacher calling. Listen, I'm here to tell you this morning, I may not have been worth nothing as a preacher, but I'll tell you something. What I'm preaching about is worth everything in the world. There's a lot that needs to be shined out in the world. It's y'all's youth service. So young people, when you walk into the schools, I know you may not make you popular. I know it may not make you the cool kid in the class. I know that at times it's hard. You feel like you're all alone. But when you walk into the schoolhouse and you let Jesus go in with you, you want to know what's going on in the world. The world is in darkness and there's a lot that they need to see. Young people, there's a group of people that y'all can reach and that I or Donnie may not be able to reach. They may look on your life and say there's something different about them. I don't want to know what they've got. Don't be ashamed to tell Jesus, tell everybody what Jesus did for you. And y'all tell you my biggest regret in my life. And it haunts me every day. But my biggest regret, I told my preacher calling at 16 years old. It was the summer between my sophomore and my junior year. I walked the halls of North Forsyth High School my junior and senior year as a preacher. A preacher, are you saying your biggest regret is telling your preacher calling no because it's been a gift. It really has, but I'll tell you my biggest regret is those two years, and I've often wondered this, but in those two years, what kind of impact could I have made as when I was walking down the hallways, anybody that I came across that would have listened if I would have just stopped him and said do you know Jesus and do you know what he did for me that's my biggest regret in this life oh but listen young people the Bible said and I read it already all you got to do is lift him up and he'll draw him you just tell him you go out into the world and tell the world where you found life Uh, Listen, I don't know about y'all. But if you find somebody uh, that tells me, uh, that'll tell you they're not afraid of the dark, uh, you bring them to me, uh, and I'll be able uh, to say, yeah, they're lying at least once in their life, uh, because I don't care who you are. Uh, You get out in the darkness. uh, You get lost out in dark, uh, and it gets scary. Uh, It gets beside you. Uh, When you finally see a light, uh, you'll go to it. Uh, Listen, there's a dark world out there. It's in darkness. 
Oh, but if you've been saved and born again, uh, you've got a lot inside of you uh, that there's a lost and a dying world that's looking for uh, that very light. Uh, oh, preacher, uh, you just said they're looking for a light, uh, but the, uh, that's mine. It's mine. Uh, it is yours. Uh, it's Everybody's got to work out uh, their own uh, salvation through fear uh, and trembling. Uh, oh, but I'll tell you right now, uh, just because there's a lot in me, a lot in you. That doesn't mean there's not enough light to go around to everyone else. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I'm glad I said Samuel Dawson Rickett was included in a whosoever. My name was included in that. I'll tell you this, I'm glad uh, that when the Lord was on the cross, uh, I was on his mind. He knew I would need a Savior. He knew that I would never uh, come close. To the, God, to the glory of God. Uh, without him, I would never uh, be fit. Uh, you might say, preacher, uh, well, so I know I know that I'm saved, uh, but what do I do? What do I do? I don't know about y'all, but I'm glad that once I was saved, that's not where it ended. Uh, that's not where it stopped. And uh, when once I got saved, I had a job to do. I had to go and do my little job. Your job may be to sing, may be to preach, may be to pray, may be to be a deacon, but we've all got a job to do. Your little job may be to go out into the world and tell your friends and your classmates what God did for you. Listen, I'll say this, and then I'll draw my remarks to an end. So y'all start preparing a song. Uh, but uh, you thought about the woman at the well. Uh, she might have been a uh, nobody uh, in that town because uh, she was going uh, in the middle of the day. Uh, she wasn't expecting uh, to find anybody at the well. Uh, that's why she was going in the middle of the day because uh, she thought she'd be alone. Uh, but when she saw Jesus there uh, and they started talking uh, and Jesus said, if you knew who I was, uh, you would ask me to drink. Uh, and then, uh, once she got that well uh, springing up into everlasting life, uh, you know what she did. Uh, she left that little water pot uh, at the well uh, and took off uh, and going back towards the city. Uh, I can't help but to imagine that uh, she was at a full sprint uh, shouting at the top of her lungs, uh, come I see a man that told me all things that I ever did. Come see a man. But listen, when she got into the city, the Bible goes on to say that there were some that believed because of what she had told them. And then there was others that went to Jesus. I went over there to where he was to hear the things that he spoke for themselves. Listen, you may share your testimony to somebody and they may believe in that very instant oh, but you may have to invite them to church invite them to go pick them up you may have to drive them crazy where they say I'm going to go just to make them hush and leave me alone at that one time that may be the time that the Lord pricks their heart and they get a well springing up into everlasting life I like that little woman there. They make it a lot. That'll shine brighter. 
I've often wondered about that light. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I don't know, but I've seen a few when they come up and they say, the Lord saved my soul. You can almost see it shining in their smile around their face. I don't know about y'all, but that was the happiest I've ever been. Oh, when Jesus moved in. Oh, I can't help. I don't know if I was shining or not. Oh, but I was shining on the inside uh, because of what Jesus had done for me. Uh, Oh, listen, I'm not trying to rake anyone over the coals this morning. Uh, I know y'all do. Uh, I know y'all are some great lights out in the world. Uh, Oh, but I'm just here to encourage you. Uh, uh, When I started out preaching, uh, every preacher would tell me, uh, uh, just keep on uh, uh, keeping on Uh, uh, this morning. uh, uh, Just keep on uh, uh, letting your light shine uh, so uh, that the ones out in the world uh, might see your light uh, and glorify our Father uh, uh, who art in heaven. Uh, uh, there's something real about this thing. Uh, uh, young people, don't let anyone uh, uh, convince you of that. Uh, if you get to wondering, uh, oh well, uh, uh, my teacher's telling me something else. Uh, uh, you go back to Bethel. Uh, uh, you go back to the experience uh, of your experience of grace uh, and you think about the moment uh, that Jesus moved in uh, I can't tell you all uh, how it happened uh, I can tell you why because uh, he loved me uh, but I can't tell you how uh, the best way I know to put it uh, is like the parable over there uh, about the little woman uh, that lost a piece of silver uh, it said that when she lost it uh, and she searched the whole house and when she found it and she went to her friends and said rejoice with me because the peace that I'd lost I had found and now I don't know how it happened for anybody else but that Friday morning when I walked into New Harmony Baptist Church I had peace Oh, but when the altar call went out I was gone I couldn't find it anywhere until I found it in Jesus and then oh you talk about rejoicing oh what a feeling oh what a light that was uh, listen uh, young people you just lift up the name of Jesus uh, you just lift up the blood stained banner uh, and let Jesus do the drawing uh, preacher uh, you might uh, say uh, how do I talk to them how do I tell them uh, tell, I'll tell you this uh, you go to them in love uh, and you try to show them uh, uh, the amount of love uh, uh, that Jesus showed you uh, on the day that he saved your soul and you let Jesus take care of the rest and you tell him you love him and you tell him that Jesus loves him and then let Jesus do the drawing it's not our job to save him I can't save anybody and if I could it wouldn't last very long but listen Jesus can save him until the day of redemption and it It'll be sealed until then. You go with love. Uh, Tell everybody about Jesus in love. Uh, Tell them how much he loved them. Uh, Encourage them to read their Bible to find out. If they don't want to take your word for it about your experience of grace, you come up with a few good places in the Bible where Jesus showed love. I like him over there when he went to Legion and Legion was out of his mind and he had him clothed and sitting in it by his feet. There you come up with some good love stories in the Bible and there's a bunch of them more than I can name. You encourage them to read about them and tell them if you've got questions to ask you about them and try your very best to just help them. There's a lot of people that don't want to help no 
nobody anymore. The whole world's got mean. It's lost at the sight of the love of Jesus. Us as Christians I just need to lift up the bloodstained banner. I lift up the name of Jesus and let Jesus draw them in. I just keep on keeping on. Y'all come along with a song. That's as far as I know to go. Y'all stand to your feet as we sing this song. Brother Donnie, that's as far as the Lord let me go. this morning. Uh, I'm Jessica Holbrook's cousin. I like to say prayers for Jessica and Rodney. Uh, hopefully they got a little good news this week, so hopefully it'll stay that way. I also like to have some prayers for the mess that's going on in Afghanistan. Yes, and I hope, I'm afraid it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better, but I hope not. Yes, I appreciate that request. But certainly remember our military troops and members of families those soldiers that have lost this last week. We certainly pray for our leaders of our country. Let's pray for them. Anyone else this morning? Don't you have several family members who are fighting COVID now and some friends of mine who are in the hospital um, with COVID also. So if we can just remember them. And this song has been on my heart. I heard it yesterday morning and I know everybody knows it, but the song, Let Me Tell You About My Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
So we know our Jesus who we're seeing healing through Ron and we're seeing, you know, there's not a sickness he can't heal or a sinner he can't save. So if we just use our light to tell people about our Jesus and for us to keep our light shining during this terrible time that we live in, just to show his love through us. Bless Let's remember this. Y'all, please remember my cousin Marlena's family. She passed away on Monday. Her husband and um, parents. Bless you, Michelle. Let's remember this request. Anyone else a word? Anyway. Donnie, I'd like to thank the Lord to save myself. Bless you. Never want to miss out on that loud. Bless you. Um, also, I ditto everything you've been said today. We can't pray enough for this world, but a couple unspoken prayer requests and wish everyone to remember Melanie's mom. She's not feeling too well this week. Bless you, Joel. Let's do this. Anything else this morning? Remember this. I'm thankful that Crossroads is a praying church and you're a concerned church about your fellow man that says so much about you this morning. Anything else this morning? We love you. Appreciate you being here this morning. Appreciate your prayerful attendance for everything that's been done. Let's give those youth one more round of applause. Down again. Them. I'm going to ask Dawson if he would to go stand back there at the back door and, and y'all tell him how much you love him this morning. What a wonderful job that he's done. And I know the Lord has great things in store for him. Anything else before we're dismissed? Jace, would you dismiss us? Thank the Lord for this day. Thank the Lord for everything he has offered us. Lord, just be with people as they're fighting terrible viruses. Lord, just be with it in their hands.